and welcome to Minority Voices. We are so glad that you joined us today. Uh, we have on our program a very special guest. First of all, we have a guest, but I just want to say thank you to the, my co-host, Jan Newellberg. Thank you, Lola. An author, minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But I also have another powerful, anointed person, man of God, Pastor Van Sharp. Amen. Welcome to the program, Pastor. Welcome, welcome, yes. Pastor. Yes, we are really happy to have you here. And we are, Jan, I mean, you have written one oh, book. Oh, my and gosh. And I thought that was, I mean, that was just awesome. It took me 10 years, Lola. <laughs> but I'm telling you, my brother here, Pastor Van what? Sharp, has written how many books now? We've written seven so far. Seven. Seven. He is a books. prolific writer. Wow. Mm -hmm. One. Lay your hands on me. Yes, <laughs> on me too. <laughs> I, you know, I'm sitting with Jan and she's talking about her book and, you know, what God gave her. And I'm thinking, you know, he spoke to me years ago. I you have books in did. you. Mm. I've not started to write yet. But, but you this will. is seeds yeah. planted in the yes. ground. I'm around good folks. Amen. And so today we're going to talk to Pastor Van Sharp. And uh, Pastor Van, uh, you have a ministry called what? A uh, name of our church is called Newness of Life Christian Center. <clears throat> now we're located at 936 Mall Avenue in Tarboro, North Carolina. Oh, Tarboro. Can anything good come out of Tarboro? Uh, <laughs> yes. you know, it's amazing you said that. I, I spoke that at my daughter's graduation, high school graduation. That was the subject. Oh, yeah. Right. Did you find out if anything good <laughs> yes, could come out? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Just the I'm fact sure. that you could speak at her graduation yes. says that something good Amen. That's amazing. has come out of Tarboro. Yes, yes. And I know some good people over there, Pastor Joyner, Richard Joyner. Yes, yes. Had a group over there from the Stars program. I want to say hello yeah. to Tarboro today. Yes. All right. So you have written seven books. Amen. Let's talk about you. Yes. Who are you? Uh, well, I'm Bishop Van Sharp. I'm the pastor and founder of Newness of Life Christian Center. And uh, I'm married to my lovely wife, Reese and Esther uh, Sharp. We've been married 29 years. That's Praise a long God. Time. Yes, Praise God. Happily married. Yes, yes, Praise yes. Praise yes, the Lord. Yes. Praise and, uh, that's a blessing. It's yes, a blessing. It is. And we have, uh, I have one daughter who graduated from a and And <gasps> uh, we are graduate. Uh, graduates from Shaw University, both my wife and I. Yes, uh, Shaw. Yes, yeah, Shaw Bear. Oh, Shaw Bear. And I, I feel left out. Uh, I've right. always wanted yeah. to go to yeah. Shaw. Okay, yes, yeah, yeah. a great school, and yeah, yeah. we love it. And uh, we graduated from Shaw. Wanted my daughter to go there, but she chose A and T. She got the Aggie pride. We her, understand. So. That's good. But, That's uh, good. And I have one grandson, and uh, just an exciting time to be in the kingdom of God. And uh, we started the work of God there in Tarboro from ground up, from scratch. Um, and so far, we've uh, purchased 1.4 acres of land. Then we bought 11 acres of land right there on wow. Main Marvelous. Street. God on is Main good Street. to you. Yes. Praise God. Amen. So you are growing. <clears throat> Amen. And so that means that there's life, and that life comes from who? It Jesus. comes come from Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Now, now, do you and your wife co-pastor? Yes, we work together. We're oh, a team. Oh, my gosh. Oh, um, my couldn't do it without her. She's that help that's suitable for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, without her support, without her love, without her uh, skills and talents, she's a very gifted woman of God, uh, wears a lot of hats in the ministry. I know she does. And uh, just supports me in all that I do. You know, that I know Jan has a lot of questions <laughs> for you about that. Jan was married to a, a I pastor. I was married to a okay. pastor, too. Wow. And it didn't work out that way. Okay. It, um Somehow, um, I, I, that was my dream that we, mm -hmm. not to co-pastor, but just to be with him and mm -hmm. to help. Because a man needs that help. We do. Me. We do. I mean, God said it right from yes. the beginning. Right from I, the beginning. I bless the two of you, and I, and I bless, and I ask the Lord that he will just take you far Amen. together. Amen. Amen. Yeah, the Bible said we are heirs together of the grace of life. That's right. And uh, we see each other as partners, and we work together, and two are better than one. Yes, it is. Yes, Amen. yes. I, you know, I see that. I, I judge really um, <laughs> how well a pastor can lead <laughs> based on that. You know that how <clears throat> he and his wife flows together, yeah. and that the respect for one another. Yeah. And you can tell even in memberships in churches, you see yeah. men and women serving, mm -hmm. and I, you know I look for that. I yeah. look for that even in my own relationship, Amen. how we are responding to each other yeah. in home at home. Yes. Then also when we come out in the public, you know, it's very important, you yeah. know, that we stay together, we stick together, and we stand by each other. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it makes a difference. Um, it's important that we understand that the respect doesn't happen when we get married. Respect has to be there 
before we get married. Mm -hmm. um, I got saved when I was 19 years old. And uh, after coming out from serving the devil, mm -hmm. was a good servant of the devil, uh, smoking dope and drinking all those crazy things. And I got saved at 19 years old at Shaw University, matter of fact, uh, mm -hmm. surrendered my life to Christ and uh, lived a single sold out life until I got married, saved myself just for her. And, and uh, had that attitude. When I was on campus, uh, guys would look out the window, they would see different girls and say, oh man, you can be with her, you can be. And one day I was in my dorm, in the room, and they, uh, she was walking across the, the way and they said, man, here's a young lady right here, man. You can't be with her, man. That girl is sold out. <laughs> yeah. And I ran over there to the window <laughs> to see who that was. <laughs> And I saw her, she was walking across the way with her books and stuff, and I said, God, I believe you to bless me with that young lady. And he mm. did. And he did. And so, he did. because she was sold out. That's sold out. Sold out attention. for it, 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 What uh, a wonderful it, testimony wow. for the both it, of you. Amen. It really what made a, a difference. What a model. What an so example. So, I guess the question <laughs> is, are you looking for a mate today? Amen. Then my second question, are you sold out? Amen. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 